So after 20 years, we've accumulated quite a few murals. We, ha we have over 40 in our inventory, and um, they all lie within uh, what we like to call the mural district here on the west side, uh, which is about an 80, 80 square mile radius. Um, so, you know, you can drive, you know, up and down Guadalupe Street and, you know, really it's, you'll see a, another mural every two blocks, two to three blocks away from each other. So it's re very saturated within a short um, distance. Um, so, um, you know, after all this time, um, you know, there's, there's a lot to see, basically. There's a lot um, for people to come out and, and, uh, and experience. And so I think, um, you know, I've been here for the last year. And at the very beginning, the mural tours were, you know, kind of slow trickling in. You know, we had one every once in a while, um, but it really hit big when we had our mural tour with uh, McNay Art Museum. Um, they contracted us as a part of their um, Estampas de la Raza exhibit, and uh, they contracted us to do two different types of tours. Tours. One was the uh, bus tour, and then another bicycle tour. Um, and so it just started to kind of snowball, and so little by little, people started. Uh, contacting us to do these mural tours and it's been something that uh, San Anto has done for a very very long time um, but it seems like now um, you know we, we are doing them pretty frequently uh, so much so that we started doing a monthly bike tour um, where um, on the second Saturday of every month we we host a bike bicycle tour um, we've teamed up with different organizations like B cycle uh, Popo's we cycle and other cycling organizations um, and it, it becomes this big event I mean like especially right now you know San Antonio um, with SA 2020 is really pushing for a lot of like the health initiatives and the culture initiatives and um, you know economic initiatives and uh, we cover a lot of these things within the tour whether it's um, you know being outside and being active being on a bike um, you know the cultural signif significance of the murals and then they kind of get to see you know a lot of the, de the demographics um, firsthand of, of the neighborhood um, as far as you know um, economically and, and socially you know what it's what it's made of I you know I have some favorites uh, especially uh, their favorites because I like the way that they look um, but also there's some that you know I've been asked to um, to in, to talk about more than others so I, I get really good at talking about them um, and La Musica de San Antonio is, is one of them um, so that one uh, was painted by David Biancas I'm sorry David Blancas and um, it basically is it's the last mural that Manny Castillo had any type of input on Manny was our our late founding member. All of the, the musicians that are depicted are, you know, local music legends that got famous here in San Antonio or were born and raised here in San Antonio and have since passed away. So we have like, uh, you know, Randy Garibe, who's, um, you know, famous for his uh, Chicana blues. Um, then we have like Valerio Longoria, who's um, best known for kind of, uh, He's kind of like the godfather of conjunto music. Uh, we have Manny Castillo, of course, who is the, uh, the drummer for several different bands here in San Antonio, um, who is also the founder of San Anto. Um, and then uh, who else we have? Oh, like Doug Som, for instance. Doug Som was in the, um, the Sir Douglas Quintet. Uh, he had some, some hit songs in the 60s. And then, of course, um, later on, uh, you know, continued his career in the Texas Tornadoes. Uh, so there's a lot of musical history up there. Um, a lot of these people that, um, if it weren't for that mural, I think may um, have been forgotten by a lot of the young people in the neighborhood. Um, La Chiquita Bakery is a mom and pop shop. It's run by a, a family. They actually, actually live right next door to the bakery. And they run the bakery seven days a week for 13 hours a day, so they never close. So La Chiquita Bakery is home to our mural Familia y Cultura es Vida. And just to give you a little bit of, of uh, background information on this mural, um, this is not the first time this mural was painted. It was originally painted back in the early 90s um, on a building called La Garachita. Now, La, La Garachita is Spanish slang for the little garage. And the little garage was um, basically, it started off as a gas station and quickly turned into a community center for the west side. In 1998, um, that building was condemned and eventually torn down. So in 2011, um, because it was such a well-loved mural, uh, San Anto decided to restore the mural or to, re or to duplicate the mural in a, on a different site. So in 2011, Andy Rivas, who is a local artist, um, she's a young artist, she actually just recently got uh, accepted to Texas State University in San Marcos. Um, she was tasked with uh, taking that mural and transferring it over to this wall. So basically she worked from photographs and she repainted the mural 
and from talking to Juan, he says it looks pretty much exactly the same way that it did to begin with. Uh, Cruz Ortiz was the lead muralist on the mural called uh, Eight Stages in the Life of a Chicana, and uh, that mural um, basically reads like a picture book from, from left to right. Um, there's eight different panels, and it follows the life of a, of a young Chicana woman um, from birth until um, adulthood and then on through uh, into elderly, her elderly age. Um, and it follows kind of um, the different periods of her life, whether it's um, you know learning about life and death from her parents, and then later on learning about her heritage in school and, and her Chicano studies, and then becoming a woman and going off to college, and then eventually having her own family, and then her own kids, and and the cycle continues. Um, so it's it's actually a really nice story that he tells um, within those eight panels. Okay, so welcome to the last mural on our, on our tour today. This mural is called Consciousness, and this was completed in the year 2010 by Enrico Salinas. Now, uh, Enrico was actually uh, very much involved in San Anto. Um, he's contributed to many murals, and this was a mural where he was actually able to be the lead muralist. So um, that's actually part of the process where um, we bring in people who may not have any uh, experience painting or with art, and they help work on these... Uh, on these mural projects and then uh, they start to move up through the ranks so at the beginning they might just be a volunteer or a participant and then as they continue to help us paint and get a little more experience they become crew members and then hardcore crew members and then eventually um, after they have so much experience under their belt they end up getting their own murals and become lead muralists for our organizations. Um, these are handball courts so on this side um, we have tennis courts but on the other side we have handball courts and these are very popular courts and you can come out here usually on a Saturday and see lots and lots of people playing handball and so Rigo wanted to make the connection between the modern, day, modern game of handball and the ancient game of ulama, which is a game played by the indigenous uh, Indian cultures of Mexico, uh, particularly the Aztec culture. And so we actually see the uh, ancient ulama player here depicted in their traditional um, dress. And then on this other side, you see the modern ball player um, depicted wearing the basketball shorts and the muscle shirt with the modern tennis shoes. And so there's that connection between modern man and ancient man and um, our community today and our heritage and where we came from. We've got health issues, uh, especially within the Hispanic community. Uh, there's a lot of hereditary health issues like uh, diabetes being one of the biggest ones, um, heart disease and cancers, certain types of cancers. And so he wants to bring that sort of awareness to the community and that they should take care of themselves and they should get themselves checked out. But also you can avoid a lot of that stuff just by being active. And uh, whether it's through handball um, or tennis or or bicycling like what we're doing today.